Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is creation power, part one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis chapter one, verse one. When we read the book of Genesis, especially chapters one and two, we see the power of God at work. God was speaking and things were happening. If you allow God to speak to your life today, if you receive the word of God in your life today, the word of God, which is as powerful as the very words, the words of God in the Bible, the word of God is as powerful as the very words which God spoke when he created the world. He created the world ex nihilo, in other words, out of nothing. And so if there is nothingness in your life, then you are even the best candidate or the best person God wants to work on. You know, the Bible tells us that when God created the world, it didn't take long evolutionary processes, not billions of years, as, you know, these evolutionists would say. You know, evolutionists, they hide everything on that time. If you ask them, how did the fish become a mammal or a reptile they will tell you oh just give it some time just give it some time so time is the magic you know time for evolutionists time is the creator time can create for them that's more miraculous than god creating of course that's why it takes more faith to believe in evolution than to believe in creation but the language that the bible used was that as God was speaking, the things were happening. He said, let there be light. And there was light. Okay? If you read Psalms 33 verses 6 and 9, let me read it. And you will see the speed with which the creation happened. Let's read Psalm 23 verse 6 now. It says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Verse 9, for he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. And of course, this scripture is not telling you that it took thousands or, or millions of years before God created the rocks and everything in the earth. No, 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 no. He spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. What, what is God waiting for long evolutionary years for? And so today, God can speak into your life. In fact, God is speaking. If you receive his word into your heart, great things will begin to happen in your life. Yes, the word of God will transform your life. The word of God has power. The word of God is powerful. So powerful that it can transform your life. You know, when Jesus comes back again, Paul tells us that we will be changed. And it will be in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. So Jesus comes and we are transformed. In a twinkling of an eye does not mean long evolutionary process. Because when Jesus comes again, our mortal bodies will be changed into immortality. This corruptible body, this body that can die and see decay, will be changed into incorruption. And Paul tells us that that's going to happen in a twinkling of an eye. But even today, the word of God, the power of the word of God can change your heart. Yes, glorification is coming when your body will be changed. But God wants to speak his word into your heart today and change your heart from a carnal mind to that of a a spiritual mind that loves sin and that does his will. God is telling you today that, look, my words can change your life. Yes, are you opening your heart today? If that's what you want to do today to the Word of God, if you want to spend time with the Word of God, with the Bible, reading, it's going to change your life. Father, we give you glory. We worship you today. We praise you for your Word that is powerful and that can change our hearts. There is healing in your world. There is power in your world. There is grace and forgiveness in your world. There is peace 
in your word. In the place of shame, there is forgiveness and acceptance in your word. In your word, O oh Lord, we find salvation. And so we pray today that you will be with us and bless us and take all the glory and speak your creative words into our lives and into our bodies and even into the bodies of your children who are sick. Yes, Lord, your word can recreate brain cells in our bodies. Any of a child that is sick right now, brain cells, yes, even tissues can begin to form. Yes, to repair even our bodies. Your word is powerful. It is with your word that you healed your people. So as many as are receiving your word today, we pray that your word, Lord, will be so efficacious, so powerful that your name will be glorified in it all. Thank you for this moment of power. Thank you for your word. Open our hearts that we may receive your word by faith and that we may see your power at work in our lives. The very creative power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.